you love the Lord, say amen. Thank God to have Sister Pat back in church, amen. Amen. She got to stop eating all that pork and chocolate. Somebody say amen. Glory to God. I wait for those who are coming to bring your seed and I'll receive it from you and then I'm going to release you. Cut the, um, cut the music for a minute, Jeremy. Two things I want to say. First thing is, remember, tomorrow night I'm lecturing. Everybody have the address, right? Off the expressway right there for 12 hours. You believe it's of Christ, you'll see it on the side. I'm lecturing at 7 o'clock. And then uh, another preacher will be preaching at 8. That's the service, huh? Across from New Way? No, 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 it's up this way. Right when you get on, right on the 8th train. I receive it, I receive it from your key. Stop for a minute. Turn around here. Turn around here with him, Marissa. Let me say, ah, oh, shut up. I want you to, to hold his hand for me. There's a shift coming to gender love. Families and relationships are coming to the forefront again. And all of us, including me, who are struggling in relationships, if in relationships, amen. amen. So you know what I'm talking about. Just because you see my wife and I come in, everything, we all look all hunky dory, we dress good, we struggling. Amen. But we, you know, we're leaving. Amen. 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 We, we talk these things over, but we want to leave sometimes. Yeah. Here's what I'm saying to you, man. There's nothing that ever happens by happenstance. And you hear my voice tonight as I tell you this. If y'all was not supposed to be together, y'all would have been apart already. Amen. You hear what I'm saying? Listen, the struggles, they have intent and purpose. Yes, God. And God's going to raise you up and use you as an example. Yes, God. Some of the things you went through, you couldn't help. Some of the things you're going through, now you can't help. But if you just receive grace on your relationship, yes. almost everybody's struggling in relationship. Nobody is perfect. And everybody's uncomfortable, all these bills and situations going on. You gotta have somebody to blame the closest person you is the best person, right? And let me tell you about, uh, here you want to go. Let me tell you about trust. Can I? Okay. There was a time when I didn't trust Fran if I couldn't see him. Amen. Y'all so judging like y'all can't stand no truth. I trust her implicitly today. You know why? She built the trust. She couldn't trust me no more. Even if she could see me, she couldn't trust me. <laughs> but what we have done over the years is we have built trust. We've been damaged on both sides in this relationship. Hurt on both sides. But God placed us together. We worked our way through it. And we stayed and we worked and we talked and we worked and we cut out the outside world and we worked and we worked and we cut out church folk and we worked, Lord help me. And, 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 and here it is, and I always tell you, I have a good friend, I have a good, almost a great relationship. Not without issues. Amen? So here's what I'm saying to you, man. Everything that was torn down can be rebuilt. Amen. But it has to be rebuilt through continual behaviors, continual practicing. Continue meaning what you say. Continue doing what you say. And if you keep doing that, you keep doing that. I'll never again to get the day we was in the kitchen. And I said, man, I think I trust you. That was long as... <laughs> it took a little while. So what I'm saying to you all is what the Holy Ghost just told me when you came up here is he's going to use it as an example. Amen. Amen. I want you to receive that. It's going to be over this Sunday. All you all need to do is work with one another, continue working with one another. And because, man, relate, how are you going to have a strong relationship if you don't have trials? Amen. That's why people be married for be together for 25 years and then they, they get divorced when the children go out of the house. Because the relationship was never about them, it was about the children. Exactly. Somebody know what I'm talking about. <laughs> See, what God's trying to do is make this relationship about y'all. So when the children are grown and gone, y'all can still be doing ministry. Amen. You get it? Amen. Give God praise for them this morning, man. This evening. Let me release you, Lord. Let me say this to you publicly tonight. I love you. If you love me, say amen. amen. Let me publicly make this confession because we've been through a lot here recently. If I 